you guys new here and um this is a Fortnite recap part one okay. this is week three we start on Monday 9th of the second which is February 2015 Lunis um, we had to practice singing uh, for mass each, hold on, each year group for each year group with the whole replace which replaced um, our year, year 10, period 1. And it was it was our, our turn first, right? With my RE teacher see, um, singing so good, better than the other teacher, even though the other teacher teaches kids how to sing. And uh, I was on the left side of the, of the seats, and there's like just two sides. Left side, which sounds better and or louder, I suppose. Um, practical and for PD was was really fun of course as always we were playing European handball with most of the people in our class because two PD classes teachers were absent because of uh, some meeting or something to do with the college hall even though um thing or was it this is probably just um thing it was probably just the practice the mass practice for mass the singing one even though um, the team I was on scored the most, I think it was like seven to two nil, so like somewhere in there. That's um, even though it was like seven to two nil, the person, the team that scored um, last wins, so we lost. But still, it was fun, man. Uh, and that was all I found interesting on Monday. And uh, let's go to the next day, tenth of the second of um, 2015, Martis, um, it's Tuesday. Since it, um, it was swimming, carnival, some people were absent. Uh, um, well, all the year 7s and 8s had to attend since it's compulsory. All my subjects were good. Matt's homework was to finish with more tr trigonometric problems with uh, finding length. In geography, had a sub as well. Just did, just did our, uh, just did like our usual learning about the skills in the early weeks. Furthermore, in English, we had we had a sub as well. I already finished the homework in class because I miss um, because Miss suggested it would be better to have no work when we get home. Religion was too easy. I just did my work like everyone else peacefully because our teacher was at the swimming carnival as well as um, and it was the second appearance of this sub teacher who also subbed for my maths class. And music, we didn't have our usual music te music teacher because of swimming carnival again. Or even an actual lesson with the teacher lecturing us, but allowed us to practice for the Valentine's Day concert. Um, everyone went into the rooms with the people they are, they are usually with. Um, I got Jim and I'm with an electric guitar, but I never got um, myself the bass or the amp with me. Instead, I played around with the synthesizer and I also sung with Jim while practice, but we also jammed. We also jammed um, Rude by Magic. It was really good. It started um, singing thing uh, in a Jamaican accent in the end. It was really, it was really fun. I tried to sing. Finally, it was science. Um, we had the teacher from music that allowed us to practice. Um, he did his work, we did our work. What was the place? Um, meaning that like, even though it was a sub, because I mean, it was a sub, right? I'm so sick. Anyways, it was a sub. We could sit anywhere, basically. Most people just chat. Yeah, sure. Some people might have done the work. Um, I did. I did the work while chatting with Jim on my left. Um, and Tia was like, "Are you guys seriously like doing the work?" And I was like, "Don't worry, we're just, we're just doing a little bit, a little bit." Yeah, and then, like, I think it was Tia or Jim were well, like, "A little bit." I think it's too much now. Even though we weren't even halfway or a quarter within like the whole activity. Anyways, um, Theo was like, "Do you, do you guys have a do you, do you any do any of you guys have a iPhone charger?" And I was like, "No, but I I have a proposal. I've no not as in like I'm I'm gonna marry her. As in like a suggestion. Anyways, what I proposed was like that. Um, are you like?" I asked her if she wanted to buy a power bank off me, which I offered was $25. It's, it's really cheap. 
at this price. Most of them come up fifty dollars to even higher than that. She did. Um, she declined, obviously. However, she did ask if I sell other stuff like um, I um, other stuff for phones like phone cases, etc. But I, 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 I said no, and she just left while thanking us for a reply. Okay, um, the next day, 11th of the 2nd, 2015, Mercules, or Wednesday, we did inverted trigonometry and maths, meaning we had to find the angles in the right right angle triangle. Next was Ari and Miss was back, did a reflective writing from a prayer, or a Christian song, in Geo. In Geo, it was area referencing and grid referencing. English had a sub, reading from reading chapters 1 and 2, and summarized them into chapter 3. Woodwork was the same. Doing more sanding when I, I should really get to the next step and stop making my workpiece more smooth. At the end of the day, it was PD theory, and boy, it was awesome. Like we were learning, right, about drugs, and everyone like can sit anywhere. Like, wow, like that was it. Was, it was so funny. Like sir, sir was like a. Oh, to, like, tell me a drug that fits in this category. Most people were like, sh um, shouting out, weed, marijuana, cocaine, ice, alcohol. You know, it's, it's just it's crazy how people would just scream out drugs like that. Anyways, um, and um, then sir, let us do the rest of the work to complete stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens. Then I said to Jim, hey, Jim, isn't Viagra a stimulant? I mean. Um, it's a drug because it stimulates your mind and body and Jim was like, yeah, for one purpose. Anyways, it continues here. While Sir had finished answering a girl's question, Jim shouted, yes, Viagra, aloud. As in like loud, you know, the other one. Like loud, anyways. And where it's not screaming or shouting, but like loud. Because like the class itself was really loud. It was loud enough, right? Alright, um, moving on, um, and it was so loud, um, the girl was like, who said Viagra, and then I pointed out, I pointed it to Jim, and he replied, yeah, it's a drug, it stimulates your mind and body. <laughs> when I was going home, I went into the train with my friend Jacob, the Filipino mestizo Cachilla, or Spanish, I was facing the window, where I could see people walking to the stairs friend Jake um, my friend Jacob was like Neil he's holding your bag this person was holding my bag right it was this really annoying kid in the same year as Jacob furthermore I said I know when the main doors are going to close I was pushed by the annoying kid and had a chemical surge in my body and I turned around and suddenly boom and what happened I grabbed him banging his face this is like a ball here. Banging his face to the train door's window and he was like, hey, what the hell man? Or something like that, like, you know? Because he thought it was like, oh, he thought it was funny, so then I got pissed and he like when he said I got pissed when he said it was a joke. And I started screaming and attracting attention to like nearby passengers, like the people downstairs and upstairs to the people to the next carriage. Um you know, because it actually stopped the train um it actually stopped the train. You know, like, um, even though I tried a diplomatic approach by questioning him, why would you push me? Like, why would you want to stop the train? I asked him some of these questions, but all his answers were like, but it was a joke. It was like a joke. Like, what the hell, man? Like, like, um, it was, like, gosh, man, I was like screaming so loud, or should I say exclaiming. And, um, halfway this incident phase, because in our year, or year 10, my year, this year that is um, blocked me like a bodyguard even though um, he came from the next carriage at the at, at and the last time I asked another question I was extremely aggravated to the point I had to intimidate this guy like I was lifting my right my clenched right hand pointing pointing to um, pointing to his face right it's like this a spear like an RPG just pointing right into your face, it's like above your shoulder, you know? My face was like already blocking me, so like, you know, I'm not gonna hurt him. But, it, it, which was good, but then again, I wasn't gonna hurt him, because I don't even, I don't, um, I don't even enjoy violence, so. Later on, two girls came, came and asked what happened, like, 
here. It's just Daniela and Selena was with Faze in the next carriage. Uh, they told it. They told. They told that kid off by, by saying to him, "What would you do that? Like you don't even know him. Like um, the same with Faze. Like he swore back because like the annoying kid would say like fuck you and shut the fuck up to, to Faze, even though Faze didn't do anything or even say anything. All he did was ask questions like me." Uh, and finally, it was Wiley Park. The train, uh, the train just stopped, and uh, I just left so ticked off, overwhelmed because of what I had done with positive and negative feedback. What should I say? Thoughts.